What's going on guys, Joe with omgrc.com, welcome. And uh, this was a little tip from one of our viewers from our live stream that said, hey, uh, well, Red Cat's got a new volcano. Well, it's been refreshed. So I was like, let me check this out since uh, my Red Cat dealer didn't really say much about it. So it's kind of under the radar. This thing's gonna be dropping on the 30th of this month. So 8-30-2021, the time of this video. Um, so, pretty cool. I still like it. I had a, I've had a few of those uh, volcanoes come through my hands, and it was pretty good. I had a brushed one, and I ha and I had a friend who had a brushless one, so it was pretty good. Um, so, and for the price point, it's not really that bad. And the only thing is, I will say now they don't come with the battery and the charger, which before for the same price it did come with the battery and the charger. But you know, most time we switch it out to something a little bit better. Now they do recommend like a 5800 kV, and I'm sorry, a fit a 5000 or a 50 5800 milliamp lipo battery, somewhere right around there. 5000 is a pretty nice sweet spot for a lipo battery, and you can run it on 2s. So let's take a look at this thing here. It does come in blue, as you see here, with kind of like that blue shock. But if you go with the copper, you still have the blue shock. So no change on the shock part of it. It would have been kind of cool if they would have came out with different color shocks to match the body. But hey, you know what? It's all about the cost too. So as we can see right here, the only thing is looking at it would be the rim redesign. But the tire tread looks to be exactly the same. I do like it when they put the little sticker in the inside of the rim. It's got a nice little touch to it. Also... Uh, the copper body, I do like it over the blue one, but teach their own. That's why I at least have two different colors. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Oh, it's glory. So like I said, no battery or charger with this one. So this is like a almost ready to run. You still need to get, if you don't already have a battery and a charger, you'll need to get that. Um, all right. So these, like I said, these are going to be dropping on the 30th of this month. So Monday, so be on the lookout because the today of this video is, well, I'm producing it on 8-27-2021. All right, so let's kind of go over this a little bit. It's got a 3300 kV brushless motor. It's a 540, so not bad. Um, a 60 amp electronic speed control that is waterproof. You always kind of keep in mind not to run them through water, you know, because your bearing's going to rust and everything else like that. Six kilogram steering servo. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz, you know, kind of the standard as far as when it comes to the radio. I do like the radios. They're pretty good. Lots of adjustments for an RTR radio. And I've never had any issues with it. Um, right here, they do recommend like a 5,800 milliamp battery. You can go with like a 5,000 would be fine. Now, what type of connection does it have? By the looks of it, it has a Dean connection, that T-style type connection for your battery. So if you're looking to, if you're going to purchase one of these, get yourself the Dean type connection or T style is what they call it as another reference. Uh, scrolling down a little bit here, they do have it tucked, but if you kind of are into the hobby for a while, you'll know like, oh, that connection, yeah, that's a Dean type connection right there, that T style plug. So that is what you're gonna need unless something else changes, but they don't really kind of get, in, get into it, but being it's brushless, and I would say it's, a, it's gonna have that T style connection on it. So there's a look at the chassis and everything, the layout. You get eight aluminum shocks with this thing. I said it's got the 60 amp electronic speed controller, your, I believe, 3300 kV motor on and off switch that's there. There's your receiver, and then right below it that this receiver is mounted to, or double stick tape, to that servo, that six kilogram servo. And then you got that aluminum chassis brace that runs on the top, and then you have aluminum drive shaft right below it. So that's pretty good. And all like as far as your dog bones that are in here, they're all steel. So everything is metal as far as your drive line goes. So that's a good thing. Your turnbuckles all adjustable. So that's kind of nice on that one. So if you need to adjust it, if it's one way or the other, you can make those little adjustments. So pretty good for an RTR ready to run. Nice little bumper on there. Uh, like I said, I've had this before and it was a good little truck. Uh, I did put like a brushless system in my mind was the brushed one. There's the radio, lots of tunability on there. So it's nice. The thing that's nice about the little lid is that you don't bump any of your settings. So it kind of keeps it out of the way of accidentally adjusting your steering or trims or, or things like that. So that is a nice little touch to have that cover. So I do like it. Your little on and off switch. And then just four AA batteries that you'll need to pick up 
if you don't already have. Like it says here, four AA batteries for the transmitter. You can run this thing, wow, on a 2S or a 3S LiPo. So pretty sweet. So there you go. So you, you guys that want more speed, you can run the sucker on a 3S. Just keep in mind, keep an eye on those temperatures of that motor. So they do, they, you know, they're gonna get hot. And depending if you're running off-road or anything like that, you'll wanna keep an eye on that or when it's hot outside. So uh, just keep bear in mind that one. If it's too hot to touch it, then it's too hot to keep running it. So uh, I would definitely let it cool down. You can always get like a little uh, motor cooler that you can stick on these to keep them a little bit lower on their temperature. So, but especially running on 3S, you're gonna wanna keep an eye on that thing. It is a smaller motor, so you know it's gonna be working hard to run the all four-wheel drive system on there, especially like I said, if you're running off-road, so you're taxing that motor more. So it's always good. Oh, speaking of this redesign, these are sweet. So now they have these little skid plates that are on there, these plastic body armor. So on the back of it, so when you flip this sucker over, because you know it's going to happen, you're, you're always scratching up your body and everything like that. So that's going to save that body a little bit from all the wear and tear, especially like on these edges where they're going to get they're thin. So that will definitely save it. So nice touch on that one, Red Cat. Full ball bearings, so you're good to go on that one. Uh, like the tread, I always liked the tread. It was really good. The tires are nice, and I actually put them on a faster vehicle that was probably going like at least 50 miles an hour, right around close to there. And these tires were nice at the time. So I don't know if they are different as far as the rubber goes, but they were a nice tire from before. Now the rim is a different one, like I said, and I do like the little Red Cat sticker they throw in there. It's kind of cool. I'm definitely digging that part of it. All aluminum shocks too. Lightweight, ultra stable wheels. <laughs> so I guess from before, that's why they lightened that wheel up. I'm not sure exactly, but I did kind of bounce around. I was looking at the shocks and talking about the tire. Go figure. Yeah. Um, so there you go, 3300 KV motor, like I was saying. It's kind of going over it again. You can kind of check this out. Like I said, I'll put links down in the description below. Here's basically a breakdown of that chassis layout with that reinforcement on top, giving you more rigidity, you know, keeping that thing a little bit stiff as far as its chassis goes. So that is a nice deal. All right, so uh, you guys have questions, comments, or anything like that, check out that little video, too, that they did. So there's your rear bumper and everything. Isn't It's nice. I mean, it's not a complete redesign or anything like that. Obviously, it's just a refresh, and it is a nice refresh. It's nice to see them change it. It definitely has better style now. So you leave those comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this thing, or if you're interested in it, hit us up. Uh, once these become available, we'll have them on our website for you to purchase. So be on the lookout come Monday see if they're available and snag one of these up so i appreciate all you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll catch you real soon you guys take care thank you again for watching peace